Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we are talking about luxury trash. We are talking about my skincare empties. I have a whole bag here of skincare products that I have used up over months or sometimes years. And I thought we could talk about that today. And because of that, I am not wearing any makeup today because I just thought it would be a good representation of the skincare that I'm using. But before we go any further, let's take a second to grab our iced coffee or a hot coffee. Let's take a sip and let's get started. Now, as you know, I have my online beauty consulting service, which is where you get the one-on-one -on -one chance to talk to me through a Zoom, I'm sure you're familiar with Zoom nowadays. And basically, if you have any makeup or beauty questions, if you want advice about products on the market, or if you want like a fresh set of eyes on the collection you already own, just go ahead and click the link in the description box. It's a link to my website. There you'll find a scheduling calendar so you can pick the date and the time that works best for you. Okay, so my empties. I have my Chanel bag filled up with some empty products here. And yeah, I just figured like having a bare face showing my skin. I did use a clear brow gel here and copious amounts of lip balm, but that's all I have on my skin. So I thought we could go ahead and dive in. So I'm just going to go ahead and pick an item at a time and talk about it. Okay, so the first thing here is a moisturizer. This is from Belief. This is the True Cream Moisturizing Balm, and this is a 50 ml. Okay, so this is the moisturizer here. Clearly, there's nothing left. I mean, I don't know. I didn't clean it completely, but there's really nothing left in here. And this is just... A really great moisturizer it's supposed to hydrate for up to 26 hours I'm not exactly sure where they got that from but if you just want like a really great basic very moisturizing very hydrating uh, face cream moisturizer this is it this is the belief true cream moisture balm and the, ter the term moisture balm is incredibly accurate it does that it really just gives you a comfort it's sort of like more of a jelly texture it doesn't feel like a thick cream it's definitely more of a day cream for me especially in the cold months but if you want a, a nice day moisturizer that feels light it doesn't feel thick or oily but just gives you just like a bomb of moisture like an explosion of moisture and hydration this is definitely it it doesn't come with any bells and whistles but if you have some good serums and if you just want that good hydration this is really really good for that okay next up is something that i did in fact clean out completely this is from chanel and this is the grain de vanille so this is part of the chanel sublimage skincare line normally inside here you'd have these little black granules and this is an exfoliator this is part of the chanel sublimage skincare line i don't know why i was compelled to to wash this out completely but I did maybe I had plans to use this decoratively I could because it is a very nice jar but this is an exfoliator and it's those little granules but it's very very soft it's not harsh it's not those tough like walnut scrubs it's very very soft on the skin and it's part of the sublimage skincare line which is part of like the global anti-aging line for Chanel and there is something in this scrub that after I used it, I used it last night um, before, I knew I was coming on camera to talk about skincare, so I made sure to exfoliate. And I used it last night, and I swear there is some magic ingredient in there that gives you just a beautiful glow. Once I rinse it off, I just look at my face and I just, I don't know what it is. There's just a really beautiful radiant finish it gets rid of like dead skin cells any excess makeup pollution dirt you know the same thing that any exfoliator does but it just leaves your skin looking very radiant so it's really great i have another one on the go in the shower i replaced it right away oh next up is a uh, sunscreen this is from kiehl's this is the super fluid spf 50. so this i use for my face and neck and i use it every single day even if i'm not in barbados i'm using it every day it's a really great 
uh, sunscreen because it's very fluid, very runny. It absorbs into the skin very quickly, but it doesn't pill. Like I can do a full face of makeup with this sunscreen underneath and nothing rolls, nothing pills. I hate a face, a sunscreen that does that. That is the worst because I like to wear makeup. I don't always go bare face. And so if I apply a sunscreen and it ruins my foundation, I hate that completely. This is lovely. It's like I said, like really light. It feels almost like a serum when you apply it and you can apply it around your eyes because I've used some thicker sunscreens in the past that gave me milia. You know those little white bumps that go under the skin and you can't get rid of unless you go to a dermatologist? I had to do that because I was using different sunscreens and they were too thick and they were clogging, clogging up the pores and causing milia. This gives me zero milia. It's super easy to apply. And again, you can wear it with makeup and it's going to look great. So this I've used a couple of and I have an, another one on the go. And the one that I have in the bathroom now is starting to run low. So I will continue. This is an item that I'm going to continuously use. It's just one of those items that's really great. And it took me a while to find this, but Kiehl's does have some really great product. Again, this is the Kiehl's Super Fluid UV Defense SPF 50. Okay, uh, next up is something from Paula's Choice. And I'm going to go ahead and cheat because I actually have it here in multiples. I have it here three times. I just knew at some point that I was going to do this video. And so I started collecting my empty luxury trash. This is the Paula's Choice Boost c15 super booster vitamin c it's 15 percent vitamin c so i use this every morning and i'm using it at night as well on my face and neck all of my skincare by the way i take all the way down to my nipples that is actually the recommended application for any and all skincare whether it's serums or moisturizers you really need to take it down all the way to your nipples to make sure that everything here stays nice and moisturized so Vitamin C is really great for hyperpigmentation, for dullness, for fine lines. It's just a really, really great active skincare ingredient. Paula's Choice is a great brand. They have sent me items for free in the past in PR, but I also buy a lot of my items from Paula's Choice, so it's really great that they send me some items for free when I will purchase them on my own willingly. Uh, but this is just a really great vitamin C because it's also very stable. You need it to be blocked from the direct sunlight. You need it to be protected. And so you have this little, um, I guess there's a little bit left in this one here, but you have this, um, I forget the word for this mechanism here, but you have like a full syringe here and then you can put that on your face and neck and you get some nice protection from your skin oxidizing and getting more sun damage and more sunspots. It's just a really great product. And as you can see, it's definitely a skincare essential for me. I like to make sure I always have one on the go or as soon as I start to feel like the bottle is getting low, I'm like, okay, it's time to get a new one. I just wanna point out that the vitamin C does not normally look like this. It looks like this because it's turned, it's a bit old. I mean, I've had these for several months. So when you get a fresh vitamin C, it does not look like this. And there's a reason why this glass here is opaque. It's because you can't get any sun or light damage through the glass because the light can actually damage the vitamin C. Okay, oh, this is a cleanser. This is from Tatcha. This is the Camellia Cleansing Oil. So this is a makeup remover. You can use one to two pumps on your face. I typically go towards two pumps, especially if I have like a full face of makeup. And this you massage onto your face dry. And it's a cleansing oil, so it literally breaks down everything. It breaks down mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, foundation, uh, sunscreen, literally everything. And then after you've massaged properly, I would say a minute, 30 to 60 seconds, you add some water and it turns into a cleanser. It turns into like a cleansing milk. Then you continue massaging for 30 to 60 seconds just to thoroughly cleanse and massage. You rinse and then you follow up with an actual cleanser. And I love a double cleanse method. I started doing it years ago and I think it's just the best and most 
I think it's, I think it's just the best way to actually remove your makeup if you wear makeup the way that I do. I just find that it just cleans everything off nice and just gives you the nicest, freshest looking skin. And this is a really, really great cleanser. I love that it's in a pump as well. And what's nice is that it's not messy or oily. Sometimes an oil in a pump can spill or leave a mess, but this has been very clean and hasn't made a mess whatsoever. So this is definitely a winner. It's one of those items that has like a cult following and I totally get it. It makes a lot of sense because it's just a really great cleanser. If you're looking for a, an oil removing cleanser, the Tatcha one is definitely Ali approved. Okay, this is a face mist. This is the Chantecaille Eau de Rose de Mai. Yeah, Eau de Rose de Mai. This is the pure rose water. This smells amazing. It smells like aromatherapy. It smells like a fresh bouquet of roses a garden of roses it's just really lovely so you can use this face mist in your skincare routine a lot of people a lot of places and cultures use rose water as a beauty as part of the beauty regimen so you can use it as a toner if you want you could use this with your makeup if you just want it's not going to be a setting spray it's not going to set your makeup but let's say you just want to add some moisture to your foundation and to your look you can go ahead and just spritz it on the skin you can use it midday for some aromatherapy maybe you just need like a little pause a little break you can just like spritz and then just do a few like <sighs> It's really lovely. I have a couple other ones. I have a travel size one and another full size one on the go as well because it's just it's just really nice. I think it's really great. It adds that boost of moisture and hydration and it gives me that extra, I don't know, something something. I don't know if they use the term aromatherapy on the Chantecaille website, but that's what I would describe this as. Just like your midday aromatherapy break. That's what I would call this item here. Okay, now moving on to a toner. This is from La Neige. This is the Cream Skin Toner and Moisturizer. So this is meant for more normal to dry dehydrated skin types. And this is a toner, but it's also intensely moisturizing and softening at the same time. So it's actually a sort of milky white uh, color. If you think of the color of skim milk, just like very runny and milky, that's what this looks like here. And so this toner, I don't recommend putting it on a cotton pad. I use it directly on my hands like this, and then I just press it on the skin and it just, gives you just like intense hydration like if you have dry dehydrated mature skin or if your skin is just suffering from harsh winter conditions this is a really great toner because it feels almost like a toner with moisturizer mixed in like it's that intensely hydrating if you're the type of person that after you wash your face your skin feels tight and dry this is great because it literally just feels like some sort of moisturizer on it or mixed into it. So it's really great. And apparently they have one that's in a spray format. I've seen it online. I haven't seen it in person. I think it's always sold out, which makes sense. But they have one that's even in a spray format that I would definitely give a try because it's just, it feels lovely and very, it just gives you like intense hydration. So this one, is another item that I continuously have. I have another one that I'm using now. And as soon as I start to like hit this area here, I get a backup right away because it's just such an essential step in my skincare routine. Let me just check the weather network at the moment. I know I talk about the weather and I complain. Okay, so right now in Montreal, it's minus 15, but it feels like minus 23 Celsius. Like how, like that's insane, but I'm only, pointing that out just to mention what my skin looks like when i'm talking about these products here it's because they really work and they really just help my skin look healthy i mean it's shocking in a way that my skin doesn't look dry and chapped and peeling but all of these items that i'm using or mentioning today i i use and it's because they make my skin look like this anyway let's keep going 
Um, oh, this here is from Chantecaille as well. This is the BioLifting Serum Plus. So this is a little sample here. I bought the full size and I got a travel size here. So this serum here is part of the BioLifting Plus uh, line, which is more about lifting and firming. But what I like about this is that it's so intensely hydrating and moisturizing. It gives you just a boost of moisture. It gives you like an instant hydration. And I do find that it also helps with a little bit of the contours of the face because it does have peptides and active ingredients specifically for firming and lifting the skin. And so what I do is I'm, you know, I'm in my mid 30s now, so every now and then I have a new crease that was not there <laughs> um, yesterday that's there today. And so I just pay uh, special attention uh, around my forehead here and also just smoothing out like these, what are these called? Like these like smile lines and things like that. But it's just this combination of instant moisture and hydration, but also this slight tensing effect not like in a sticky gross way but when you apply it when you smooth it out and massage it onto the skin you feel this like i want to say tightness but not like an uncomfortable tightness but you can just feel that the serum is lifting and smoothing your skin at the same time but it's not tacky it's not sticky and it's not uncomfortable you can just feel this sort of like tensing action and sensation which is nice because it has all these claims about lifting and smoothing and so when you can sort of feel that lifting and smoothing effect you're like okay something is actually working here that's great so this is the sample here that i used up and then i have the full size that i have on the go as well okay next up is a lip balm here this is the chanel hydra beauty nourishing lip balm this is what the product looks like here and then inside is completely empty normally there'd be some product inside so this is the hydra beauty collection which is really just your basic hydration there's no bells and whistles, there's no anti-aging properties, but this lip balm here will have the Hydra Beauty scent, which is a, a white peach and melon scent. This to me is just like a really nourishing, very intensely hydrating lip balm. It feels nice. It's slick without being too slick and it's rich and buttery without being waxy. It's just a really lovely product. It's a nice complimentary item to the whole skincare line. I mean, it makes sense to moisturize from here all the way down to your nipples, but your lips also need a good slather of hydration here. I've gone through a couple of these and I can definitely see myself purchasing more. I have the tinted lip and cheek balm now that I'm really enjoying, but Sometimes it's just nice to have something that has no color and you can just feel free to just like slather on daily and you don't need, you know, with the tinted lip balm, you don't want to go too overboard. But with this, even sometimes if you have like a little bit of dry skin around your nose, I'll just like tap on a little bit here and there. And it's really great. I really love this product. I feel like it's a little bit overlooked at the beauty counter so if you get a chance i would recommend testing out the hydra beauty lip balm i really enjoy it okay now we need to talk about this this is from guerlain this is the orchidée imperiale the imperial orchid collection and i got a sample of the rich cream so this is the jar here this is the top you get a beautiful gold and dark navy i think this is this color here it's absolutely gorgeous as you can see i have used this up completely uh this texture here is the cream you guys this moisturizer is so nice i don't even know when i got this i think laurence gave it to me maybe in the fall when i picked up the fall collection my camera cut out for a second sorry about that but yeah the Orchidée Imperial skincare line. Uh, yeah, I get it. It's ridiculous how good this is. Like, as you can see, licked clean, so to say. This moisturizer, when I applied it, it, it was sort of a thicker cream, like the texture was thicker. But as soon as I applied it, it instantly just like dissolved into the skin. 
And it instantly just like smoothed and buffed and it was almost like a filter for my skin with a moisturizer. I completely understand why people like this skincare line. I understand why people buy this moisturizer because it honestly, it's like a moisturizer unlike any other I've ever tried. It's just so beautiful, just instantly absorbing into the skin, instantly just like plumping and lifting and smoothing and just beautifying in the nicest way. I loved this sample so much. And then I went online and looked at the price tag and I was like, maybe not right now. I definitely aspire to be a very fancy Guerlain lady who buys Guerlain skincare. And I will work up to that. But for the time being, I will stick to my sample of the Imperial Orchid line, but I, I, I get it. Like if you are a fancy lady who buys this moisturizer, I totally understand you because it is so incredibly beautiful. If you can get your hands on this, definitely 100% give it a try. Oh. Moving on, we have here the Rose de May face oil here from Chantecai. So this is a face oil here and this, uh, the cap here is a little funky now, but you have this like squeeze up here so you can dispense like a drop or two in your skincare. So what I use the face oil as is my last skincare step. So remember when we did science projects in like middle school and you had a glass of water and you added oil and you saw that the oil and water didn't mix? So imagine like your serums, your moist or your moisturizers as water and then you add a drop or two of face oil all over afterwards, it literally acts as a sealant. It's a barrier to keep all of those ingredients, all of those peptides into your skin and moisturized and hydrated. And it's really, really a great item to add at the end of your skincare routine, whether it's morning and night. I do morning and night, both of them. And I also like to add a drop or two into my foundation every now and then. Like if I just wanna make sure my skin is extra boosted and glowy, I will just add a drop into my foundation. I, I'm sure you've seen this before on my channel. I do it all the time. I just think it adds like a nice little boost of glow. So this is great. I have another one currently in my bathroom on the go. Okay, next up is something very similar. This is the Guerlain Youth Watery Oil. These are two samples here. This is how I started with the Youth Watery Oil. I have a full size in my bathroom currently. So if you like the idea of a face oil, but you hate the idea of a face oil, like if, if you think it looks and it's gonna feel too oily, I would 100% recommend the Youth Watery Oil because it is the most watery face oil I've ever tried. It feels like water. It doesn't feel like a traditional face oil. So if you want something lighter and more lightweight, definitely go with this one here. It instantly just gives you just like a glow, a boost. It's also supposed to help plump and hydrate the skin. And I do feel like it does make a difference. I know I'm being extra by having so many products on the go, but I really like them. I really feel like I see benefits and I do see results with all of these products that I use. So I'm very happy to continue using the youth watery oil in conjunction with like a more traditional face oil too. Oh, speaking of a traditional face oil here, we have the Chanel Huile de Jasmin. This is from Chanel. It's similar to the Chantecaille Rose de May face oil, except this one here is from Chanel. This is a 50 ml and this here is more just like a classic uh, dispense i guess you don't have a pump or anything but i do think i prefer the packaging of this one here it's just like a bit cleaner um this here smells like jasmine and it's very light it's not it doesn't smell like a fragrance or a perfume it almost it smells almost like aromatherapy like if you think of aromatherapy with jasmine this is what this smells like it's very light it's very fresh and it gives you just that more classic traditional face oil. So if you want something like that, Chanel has a really beautiful one. This is the Jasmine one. I really love it. I think it's great. There's like a drop left here, so I might have to use this up completely. I thought it was completely done, but 
I think it's lovely. I think it's just like a really nice last finishing step to your skin. Again, like I'm not wearing any makeup today and my skin looks really great. And I credit that to all the skincare products that I'm mentioning today. Okay, so here we have the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask from Shaltakai. This is an exfoliator in a mask form. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply this on your face, neck, chest, and you're going to massage it for like three to 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. This leaves you with the absolute softest skin. I know I mentioned the Chanel exfoliator earlier. I'm being extra by having multiple on the go. If I could only choose one, if I could only have one exfoliating product, it would be this one. It would be this one here from Shatsakai, the Hibiscus Smoothing Mask, because it leaves my skin so incredibly soft and supple and beautiful and also very radiant at the same time. It's just a wonderful exfoliator. This is the product that got me into Shantikai skincare. This is the item that got me into like the door. This is the first item that I bought from the brand and I was like, okay, they know what they're doing when it comes to skincare. And I have purchased, I don't know, maybe four or five of these. Like it's constantly something that I have because it works so well. And if ever you have a little breakout that you want to get rid of, what I do is I do like the full face and neck mask and then I'll take a little bit extra and I'll just massage the breakout for like a minute with the exfoliator. And then when once I rinse it off, it is so easy to do any sort of extraction because it softens the skin and makes it more supple. So if you have to get rid of any breakouts, it's so easy. I love this mask. I love this exfoliator. It is something that I can see myself buying for basically just the foreseeable future. There is no way or no reason why I would ever stop purchasing this mask here. Okay, so we have a last final product here. This is from Biosense or Biosense. This is the Squalene Omega Repair Cream here. So this you can technically use morning and night. Personally, I prefer this in the evening because it is a little bit thicker, not too thick. It's not oily or greasy by any means, but it's called the Omega Repair Cream. It really does feel like it's repairing and plumping. Like instantly when you apply it, you I personally felt like my skin was plumper, filled out, smoothed, and ready for the evening. If you use the same moisturizer morning and night, personally I find that in the morning when I wake up, my skin, it's lacking something. It's clearly needing a glass of water. But with this moisturizer here, I always wake up looking plump, looking fresh, looking hydrated after like eight or nine hours of wearing this moisturizer. My skin still looks beautiful. So for me, this is a really beautiful evening cream. I take it all the way down. I think it's really lovely. It's really rich without being too thick. You could use this in the morning too if you wanted to, but I like it uh, in the evening. And what's nice is that they also have a travel size one. So if you want to test things out without buying the full size, you can tr uh, try out the travel size one. All right, guys, that is it for my luxury trash video. <laughs> These are my skincare empties. Let me know what you think. Do you like to see this type of video? It does take me a few months to build up to one because I don't use up a moisturizer overnight. But if you like to see this type of video, leave a comment. Let me know. Leave the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you've tried out any of these skincare products here or if you have a skincare recommendations, sound off down below. Make sure you are subscribed. And if you think you're subscribed, double check because sometimes YouTube likes to unsubscribe people from my channel for mysterious reasons. And if you are familiar with my channel, I have a series called the Beauty History series, which is where I dive into the legacy of a fashion or beauty icon. And there's a new video the first Friday of every month, which is coming up very shortly. So make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have your notifications on for that video. So on that note, I think this is all I have for you guys for today. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you next time. Bye.